life is full of risk. And if you knew what we were trying to look at, I hope you'd agree that we survived pretty well. We should ask Dan what he wants to play. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Does anybody ever pay attention to Cat Stevens? 50 years ago, maybe? Why not?
Thank you very much. Wild World, is that what that's called? Yeah. I'm trying to learn Clay's instrument and uh, sat down and accidentally played the opening chord to that tune a couple of months ago. And I was, that, that too. And suddenly I was four years old again. And I found the second chord and I was three. We're gonna take a quick break. Dan Monahan, Clay Fulbright, Josh Davis, you're awesome, thank you. We're here till 10. A lot of people in this room write music. By a show of hands, for those of us who don't and are curious, most of your hands will go up. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? You look at this. So, writer's block trick I attempted. How many years ago? I was living in Towson, Maryland. So it was around 2002. Was to write a piece of music in the time it took a cup of tea to steep. Four minutes? Exactly. Skerrick, I knew you'd be right on cue. The tea was really quite strong in the end, but... I do think it was something like 40 minutes, ballpark. And uh, wrote a few other tunes, recorded them with my best buds at the time. And, uh, you know, fairly complicated crap on that record. And all my friends are like, yeah, you know, the cool tune is this, this T tune, you know, that you spent absolutely no time or energy on. And, uh, I mean, you be the judge. I'm not trying to brag about the tune. I'm trying to say that sometimes uh, it's a remarkable connection or disconnect between time and energy spent and quality yielded and appeal and all that. I mean, look at pop music, okay.
You familiar with Brad Meldow? He wrote that, great pianist. Uh, and put on, on a recording called, what again? The, the record? Oh, Chris Tile and Brad Meldow, yeah. Tile, I thought it was tea leaf. Tile, tea leaf, all right, all right Chris. Any of you have children that you know about? You're too young. I have a son and a daughter, most precious things in the whole wide world. And uh, I was in LA when my son was two and a half years old for a little spell doing a project and uh, was thinking about him, missing him quite a bit, and came up with this tune. He was two and a half years old at the time. The tune is called Sam 2.5. It was a good operating system, although he's since progressed considerably.
we were going to play a song called Daughters. Because I forgot to bring the song called Bella 6.5 for my daughter. Yes, she's, that's her name, 6.5. Yeah. So instead, we're going to play something ferocious called...
Thanks so much for your kind attention. As every good jazz band should, we will now conclude our concert with Brahms Symphony No. 3. Our last tune, thanks again for your kind attention. That's Dan Monahan on drums from Philadelphia, from which he drove today, I assume. Yes, that's a gift to us all. Clay Wulbricht from Lamont, from which I assume you drove today. Yes, we'll walk home though to see, you know, to accommodate Dan's efforts. We'll, we'll walk with our gear on our knees. Thank you so much for coming. Brahms, in Chinese, this is one of my most uh, favorite composer names in Mandarin, which Clay needs to know for personal benefit. Buramisu, Johannes Buramis, Buramisu, isn't that a great name? <laughs> yeah, and then there's Mo Jia Te, do you know who that is? Mo Jia Te, <laughs> yes, fun. Yes, random, yes, good night.